So hopefully at this point you've watched the two previous videos to create the assets within After Effects and also to gain some understanding of easing. We're going to continue to move forward with the bounce exercise. In this video I hope to show you the basic setup of the motion path and then we'll follow that with the easing, adding the easing, and then lastly we'll do the squash and stretch which are our first true use of animation principles. So let's get started. I've got my ground and my ball created on my stage and what I want to do is go right ahead and start with two keyframes, one for position and one for scale. We're not going to use the scale one until we get to the squash and stretch portion but it's a good idea to set that keyframe up right at the at the outset. So I've got my ball ready to start bouncing. I've got my keyframe and unlike what we've done in the past where we you know go ahead and set a keyframe and then move it what I'm going to do this time is move my playback head to the point where I want the ball to hit the ground and then just drag the ball into the position and you're going to see that that immediately gives me a keyframe and you can already start to see the Bezier curve that will become our bounce. So I'm going to go in diminishing time up and down just get the basic up and down motion and of course on the second bounce it's not going to bounce as high which means it's not going to take as long to hit the ground and there's no real formula for this that I'm aware of so you just sort of uh, eyeball it but think of it as you know getting lesser and lesser and so they look like they're little teepees at this point and that's okay now as you as I'm going you can see that there's a lot more dots here let me zoom in a little bit we have a lot more dots. Each one of these dots represents a actual um, frame. So if I go one frame at a time, you'll see that on each frame I am stopping on one of those little dots. Okay, so we've got the up and down and maybe a couple more. I've kind of limited my time here, and which means that they're going to be doing that fairly quickly. So I'm going to keep that at about an even um, time distance here for these tiny little bounces and let's really slow it down now to just a little little upward movement barely moving and then I'm gonna have it take a really long time and just roll a little bit away not very far. All right, so now I've got this very, very basic set of keyframes. And if I scrub over, I'm not going to render because that'll take too long to for you to watch. But you can see that my ball goes up and down. But it's in a very sharp line. So what, the first thing we're going to do before we start uh, adding easing or squash and stretch is kind of work with this line a little bit. And it is a true Bezier line. So if I grab my pen tool and I hold over one of these points, you should see an item that's similar to what you would see in Illustrator. And in fact, if I click and hold on this, yes, I get my little handlebars and I can stretch. Now, if yours were curving all the way through, you can also click on these to make them pointy. So you'd probably want to make click on these so if your line looks like that, click on these lower ones to make them pointy lines. And then up here at the top, let's give a nice round uh, for the bounce. And you don't want to exceed it so far that it goes, you know, over the next upward motion. Just kind of nice even bounce. And even this little guy, I'll give a little tiny arc. Okay, so let's scrub over that. And it's still not looking very natural. I am playing it there. There's a preview. Not bad. 
But uh, once we start to add our easing onto this and then our squash and stretch, we should really start to see it look more lifelike. Stay tuned. Next video.